we realized that there was a need for a web-centric code editor. We all have text editors, of course, that we use to write our code. But these text editors typically don't understand all of the differences of the files that we work on when building web projects. And so we saw an opportunity there for some innovation. And this is what inspired us to begin earlier this summer the Brackets open source project. Brackets is a web-centric code editor that we have built in an open source community from the ground up. And it understands HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And because it understands those files, it is able to offer some really interesting productivity features that allow you to do things like inline editing of CSS and JavaScript from within the referencing HTML file, and the ability to live preview in the browser as you actually make changes in the code. And part of how it's able to do that is because, like Reflow, Brackets is built entirely itself in web technologies. It's built in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And one of the things that that means is that if you can code in brackets, you can also contribute to brackets. And we're hoping that you will begin to do exactly that and join what has become an incredibly active community that has joined our core staff from Adobe in achieving eight releases of the Brackets project since it began earlier this summer. We view Brackets as a great sandbox for experimentation in the web-centric code editor space. And we hope and expect that it will feed into a number of other projects that can incorporate its innovations. In fact, we ourselves at Adobe recognize that we could use this kind of a web-centric code editor to help tie together elements of the workflow with the new edge tools and services. So we built on top of brackets and have created a new distribution of brackets that is our own web-centric code editor designed to work really well with the edge tools and services. So it gives me great pleasure this morning to introduce to you Adobe Edge Code. Edge Code, like I said, builds on brackets, but it integrates with some of the Edge services, like PhoneGap Build and the Edge Web Fonts. And we're going to continue adding new features to Edge Code to further integrate it with other Edge tools and services and with other Adobe products and services. Brackets, of course, will remain at the core of Edge Code, and that will be where we continue to invest and drive innovation for core editing features. So Paul, maybe you can show us how you would use Edge Code to code up the project that you've been working on this morning. I would love to. Here's my project. If you recall, we have it uh, working, of course, in the browser. As I scale it down, everything's working pretty well, but I need to continue development on it. Even as I scale it down, I can click through and see those images. And I need to continue development on, on this, because I feel like these, uh, the slideshow is going backwards. Oh, you mean the slider. And slider's... I want to reverse yeah. the direction. I actually want it to go from right to left. Yep. So what you typically do is you'd identify the HTML page, uh, determine where maybe that function call is, and then sort through the different JavaScript files yep. to find out where uh, that JavaScript function is. Well, luckily, with Edge Code, it's literally I just select that function call, and I can go to Quick Edit. So let's take a look. Within the context of my page, I can actually jump right out to that go. function. OK, right. so I don't have to navigate through all these various pages. Right in here, I can change what I need to change. Just reversing the direction right here quickly. So now you're editing that JavaScript in line from within the HTML file. Yeah, I don't have to jump out. In fact, nice. it tells me right here that's the JavaScript file. Yep. And uh, I can always just reload that page, and we'll see it. It goes the right it goes direction. The other way. So Beautiful. easy enough. Okay, so that's just that's just JavaScript. That's a quick function I did. Well, what about CSS? You're probably wondering. Um, I need to fix this icon as well. See that uh, joysticks kind of floating out there. And I can select that CSS class. And I'll just do Command-E, just the shortcut. And you can see how it opens that There's up. There's your CSS. Now I'm going to show you something really cool. I like cool things. Oh, man, I'm, I'm <laughs> excited. But check this out. So it's just floating, floating set to none. What if I want it to float to the left? Look what happened. Look it actually that. floats it to the left, because I have this live preview, this live connection to my browser. Right, I don't so you didn't reload to... that time. Yeah, it's great. Mm, nice. So I can come yeah. in here and change what I need to and it will change accordingly. Even for this paragraph tag, if I want to open that up, maybe adjust the uh, line height a little bit, something like that, you can see what I can do there. 
So inline editing, CSS, JavaScript, doesn't break my workflow I'm working with in the context of my page. Uh, even going beyond that, I'm not crazy about uh, this color. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's like an orange. I'm not sure if I, oh, oh it's B76B12. You know oh. exactly what that is, no, right? No, I have no idea. <laughs> I know that's a one, thanks kind to of source painful. code pro. Yeah, exactly. So luckily, again, I can do a command E and OK, uh, there's look the at that. color. And you can see, look, I'm changing that color. You see that? It's changing. The word nostalgic is changing in my browser. So that's amazing. So there's inline editing not only of CSS and JavaScript, but you've got inline editing now of color Yeah. with a real color picker. You got it. Excellent nice. feature. In fact, let's go beyond that. I've picked the color. I like that red. It matches. Uh, jumping into fonts, I want to go beyond Arial as well. And we have code hinting. But now I want to go ahead and integrate some edge web fonts. So literally, for that font family, wow, I can that. pick whatever font I want. Let's go to a fun script, since we want something kind of fun that says nostalgic, like Leccarelli. I don't even know how to pronounce it, yet alone type it in. I don't have to. <laughs> drops it in. Our sort of default. And the last thing I need to do is just take that line of code that JavaScript, which is going to integrate it into that into page right there. So I, I pick which page I want it to go on, and I'll just paste it right there at the top. In fact, let's just jump back out there and refresh it and uh, give it one second to refresh. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. You guys in the room, you don't have to be on the stream, by the way. <laughs> so nonetheless, we'll give it a second to refresh. The font will appear there. Right. Sure. So yes, beautiful. So we, get, so we get inline editing of CSS, JavaScript, color, and now fonts. Exactly. Beautiful. You got it. I'll show it in a sec. Nice. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You've got that inline editing of all of those different things that I just listed off, and then that live preview that can be a real time saver so you can actually see those changes as you make them directly in your code. As I mentioned, both brackets and edge code are built themselves on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which means they're simple to extend. And Adobe and the community through the open source project have already been doing exactly that, writing a number of extensions that easily add new capabilities to this project. And we're going to continue, like I said, adding features to Edge code itself that further integrate it with the Edge tools and services and with other Adobe products and services. We have a preview of Edge code available today. So please go download it, begin using it for editing your own code, and give us your feedback. We want to, again, engage you in a partnership like we have with the other tools so that you can help us make this a great, fun, easy, and enjoyable tool for doing all of your web projects. And because it is open source, we'd like your contributions. So please also feel free to actually write some code yourself that becomes part of brackets and part of edge code.